Bill Anderson, you're chasing a story about a fancy vigilante. What do you got? I am. Carmen Butch D'Amato and his daughter Rita are in hot water with the police after surveillance video caught Rita beating a man with a baseball bat and then Carmen shooting the same man in the leg as he turned and tried to run away. The issue has blown up above and beyond just an attack on the streets for a couple of reasons. Carmen Butch is a member of the legendary Mummers. They're groups that compete on New Year's Day, dancing and wearing costumes. Carmen and Rita allegedly attacked this man because they suspected him of committing a string of car break-ins in the neighborhood. Rita allegedly yelled at the man, you know what you did right before she hit him with the bat. So I went to the neighborhood, talked to people in that tight-knit block. We watch for each other's around here. We're a close-knit block, Carpenter Street. They all said that they do look out for each other. The block will protect itself, but this went too far. I think it went a little bit too far, you know what I mean? Not knowing the consequences of what aspired. Uh, the victim of the attacks is expected to fully recover, and he has thus far not been connected to any break-ins. The only people being charged are the vigilante mummers. But it's blown up on social media where some people saying, is this just what you have to do to protect your neighborhood if nobody yeah. else is protected? Well, I mean, a couple sides to it. But my first question is, was he, was he allegedly in, involved at that moment in an act, or did these two just see him walking down the street and say, hey, we recognize you, we're he gonna was not. come and get there, you. There is surveillance video. I actually walked the block. So this man was just walking down a small South Philly block when they attacked him. Even with no evidence that this man committed any crime before he was attacked, a lot of people on social media are saying, good job with the vigilante justice. I'm not surprised that people on the street might not be willing to talk, might be supporting this vigilante justice because there is that sense of community that you don't find in a lot of neighborhoods that you will find amongst these people that participate in this because it's not just one day. They work for this all year round. Well, but it's also one thing if you're being attacked, you certainly have a right to carry whether you're a mummer or not if you're not a criminal. But he wasn't uh, being know. attacked. He was being a Well, that's my point. I'm saying that vigilante and right. protecting yourself, there are two different things. I mean, if you're not, if you're there because you think someone may have been involved in a crime and you go after them, uh, you know, you ought to be charged. What the heck? Yeah, only in South Philly do you enlist your daughter to be the muscle in your vigilante justice. <laughs> the work crew was putting in steel wall, brick township.